We're at the uh, Old McDonald Farm in Sail Creek, and we're doing a trench rescue training. What's happening behind us is uh, simulating um, a, somebody that's working down in a trench and a collapse occurs. And we're teaching the students this week um, the signs to recognize as far as potential collapse. And then if the collapse does happen, um, how to shore up the sides to be able to put a rescuer down in there to, to remove either a victim or a um, survivor. We have been on several of these uh, incidents in this region, and it's uh, just so important um, to teach these because, one, they're very technical, um, they're very time-consuming, and, and takes a lot of personnel um, for a large incident like this um, because it's very manpower intensive. Once you get the shores in place and get down, you don't know how much dirt is actually on top of the victim. So, you know, it's going to take personnel getting down in there and digging by hand a lot of times to remove the dirt off, off of the victim um, to be able to remove them. It's about being ready, having the training and, and keeping that training up and uh, being confident in their skills um, to do this.